Hey everyone, welcome to uh, my next video. It's uh, been really great to see how many subscribers and likes I'm getting on this channel, so uh, thank you to all of you for that. Uh, and if there's something, that, um, some kind of question that you have about your voice that you want to have explained, uh, please comment below and ask your questions, and uh, I'll try to answer your questions in the coming weeks with uh, videos. So let me know what they are. So in today's video, I want to explain the new theory of breath support um, that I'm starting to see uh, a lot of top researchers in voice like Carrie Obert and uh, Ken Bozeman, people like that that are, are um, starting to kind of talk about support in this way. So basically, they're starting to describe voice support as subglottal pressure. So the glottis is the space between your vocal folds. So it's kind of like nothing, it's emptiness, right? But what they're talking about is the pressure that you can create below your vocal folds, so subglottal pressure. And, um, but they're also starting to talk about supraglottic pressure, so the pressure that you create above your vocal folds. So both of them kind of combine to create voice. Uh, so, uh, and, and supraglottic pressure comes from, uh, our kind of understanding of it is starting to kind of evolve from semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. So when you do a semi-occluded vocal tract exercise, your mouth is partially closed. So like, all things like that, that close your mouth and create pressure back onto your vocal folds, if that makes sense. Good. So, I also wanted to kind of chat a little bit about um, a term that we all learn in school, I didn't really learn it because I'm old, but uh, young, the young people are starting to learn this, and that is uh, a term called homeostasis. And homeostasis is defined as the tendency towards a relatively stable equilibrium between interdependent elements, especially as maintained by physiological processes. So singing is a form of homeostasis. If you think that we're creating, trying to create homeostasis here at the level of the throat. Cool, are you still with me? So when we create subglottic pressure and we increase subglottic pressure, we also need to increase supraglottic pressure in the mouth that creates pressure back onto the vocal folds. And when those two, two um, forces or pressures start to equalize, then your throat relaxes. Cool. So how are some ways, well, I guess first of all, I should say that belting and other high energy styles of singing need more pressure, right? They need more pressure from below and they need more pressure from above back onto the folds. So how do we find different types of subglottic pressure or support? Um, one is uh, one I call the sudden stop. So you're about to shout and somebody stops you and you go, and you stop the, the breath right here at the vocal folds by closing them. And now just think about what do you feel in your body? Do you feel your body start to start to engage and that is that subglottic pressure or support uh, another really cool one is doing planks uh, if you're healthy doing a plank on the ground doing them with your elbow elbow planks or even just leaning against the wall is enough for a lot of people to uh, to find that subglottic pressure so try to try that while you're singing cool and one more a uh, really interesting one is zzzz, zzzz, doing exercises that go zzzz, zzzz, the, the, so you got to keep it steady 
zzzz, and that creates that pressure back down, but also it start, I start to feel it down in my, uh, down in my torso where the su um, subglottic pressure resides. Cool, so that's how we increase subglottic pressure, but how do we increase supraglottic pressure or pressure above our vocal folds? Well, we increase that by increasing resonance or twang. So one really cool way uh, I like is um, quacking, <clears throat> ugly sounds. So like quack, 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 quack. The uglier, the better, because the uglier it is, the more subglottic pressure you're creating. Uh, another one I like is uh, one that uh, I learned from Adele's voice teacher in New York City, um, Jeannie Lavetri. And I call it the ugly as, or sometimes I call them Adele's. Ah, and it's that same ugly ah sound. Ah, ah. So how ugly and how uh, easy can you make that feel? Good. Uh, some other ones, again, is the zzzz. And also one that I like called Waves in a Cave, where you create a little cave, rup, 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 like that, and you go, um. So that's another semi-occluded vocal tract exercise that creates back pressure back onto your vocal folds. So when you're finding your singing doesn't really feel right, it feels like tense, something feels off, one of the one of the first things you should do is uh, look at your pressures. Is it a supraglottic pressure? Do you need more quack, wah, wah, in the sound? Or do you need subglottic pressure? Do you need to do a plank or something like that? Usually it's, <clears throat> well, it's, it's a mix for people, you know? You never know who or what. Everybody is different, right? So uh, give, that, uh, give that a try. Um, yeah. So. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel down below, like this video, and uh, ask me any questions. And again, if there's any questions about singing that you want me to uh, explain, then don't be afraid. Comment below and I will see, see that and uh, hopefully answer your question. So thank you and have a great singing day.